everyone to today's discussion on one of the most significant events in gaming history, the fall of Sega in the console market. I'm Jonathan Bluestar. Join me as we delve into the rise, glory, and eventual demise of this once great titan of the gaming industry. Sega, founded in 1960, was a powerhouse in the gaming industry throughout the 1980s and the 1990s with iconic consoles like the Sega Genesis and games like Sonic the Hedgehog they rivaled even Nintendo for dominance. However, by the late 1990s, cracks began to show in Sega's armor. The release of the Sega Saturn in 1995, marred by high prices and the lack of compelling titles failing to even compete with Sony's PlayStation at the time. Despite the setback, Sega remained ambitious, launching the Dreamcast in 1999. It was ahead of its time, with features like online gaming and a robust library of games. But alas, it was not enough. The Dreamcast struggled against a fierce competition from Sony's PlayStation 2 and the emerging dominance of Microsoft's Xbox. One of the key factors in Sega's downfall was its inability to secure third-party support for its consoles. With a wide range of games, consumers were less inclined to invest in Sega's hardware. Management missteps also played a significant role. Indeed, Sega's decision to discontinue the Dreamcast in 2001 marked the end of an era. The company shifted its focus to software development and became a third-party publisher. Today, Sega continues to thrive as a game developer and publisher. By its days as a console manufacturer, or by a distant memory. And there you have it, folks. The rise and fall of Sega in the console market. A cautionary tale of innovation, ambition, and ultimately, the harsh reality of the gaming industry. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Thank you.